right, we got all our shit handed out, and now we're just waiting. Family's left behind. Um, we're gonna go ahead and ease the tax burden. Truce of France has ended, that's fine. So yeah, 1815. Hopefully we'll be ready to go to war by then. And... General retires. Okay, so we have room now. Okay, well if there's no provinces available to build in, then go, come over here. So we need like 50 more boats. <laughs> by sailors, actually. Oh, we lost an advisor. Um, improve relations guy. Actually, let's get spy network guy. We'll just start, we'll use our free diplomat to just build a spy network in Britain so that we can get their, uh, siege their shit faster. Hopefully they don't have some kind of, like, proto-James Bond to send to counter-spy against us. Okay, all of our new territory is cored. Stuff's been handed out to Parliament. Stuff's been handed out to estates. Uh, as far as what that does for our land force limit, if we had any manpower to spare, we could build ten more regiments. Truce with Sweden and Denmark have ended. Still promoting mercantilism. We should be able to tech soon. Yeah, we should be able to tech on the next cycle. Didn't ever quite get our innovativeness high enough to uh, do anything with it. But, uh... Three sixty-eight out of four hundred one. Oh, I think we can build a couple more these now, actually. Uh, shipyard, yeah. There we go. Some shipyards going in Iceland here. Target allies is pretty useless now because the Iroquois are our only remaining allies. Do the Mayans even still trust us? Yeah, they kind of do. Well, they'd re-ally with us. Maybe they were just forced to break the alliance by a treaty. Alright, how we looking? 373. See what the religion map looks like at this point too. Still large areas of the Ohio Valley that haven't been converted, strangely enough, even though we've hold, held on to them for a while. Uh, we can lose five Republican tradition, that's fine. If we slide into a dictatorship, I'm 100% okay with that. Okay, getting the gold standard, teching well ahead of time. We should also be able to get the field howitzer way ahead of time. Oh, and we're done. We're done with Diplotech. We finished. <sighs> Ships and production, as many as we can get. Could 
fire our Diplo advisor at this point to save money if we wanted to. Oh, shit. We're taking attrition. Build a supply depot. Tara McTaggart. Until death. Do we want to tech or do we want proof relations? Yeah, these are both going to be useless, so we'll wait to tech. Hopefully that didn't set our manpower back too much that I didn't notice that until it was too late. Are we still taking attrition even with the supply depot here? Okay, interesting. This is our transport fleet, right? Okay. So here's what we're going to have to do. Cancel drilling. I want you guys to split up. You guys are going to be our reservists. I'm going to give you our secondary general. So you can continue drilling. So you guys don't need to be on Force March. Go ahead and build a supply depot. Split in half. Cool. Atmospheric engine. Building on older experimental air pumps, an innovator from Nipissing has created a new type of engine that uses steam pressure to pump water out of wet mines. The atmospheric engine now enables mining where it was previously not possible and has greatly increased the efficiency of coal and metal mines in our country. Uh, coal, iron, and copper are now more likely to trigger industrialization events. Uh, cool. I like that. That's good for us. You can get Miltech ahead of time. We are finished in Miltech. Okay, maybe we should take that as the signal that it's time for war. Uh, we're going to lose money. That's fine. Master Recruiter has died. All right, let's see if we can get... Uh, yes. Sweet. So we got a Discipline Advisor. Are there any other policies we can enact that would help us a lot here? Um, Colonial Range, National Sailors Modifier would be very good. Uh, privateer Efficiency, Ship Durability, Manpower Recovery Speed. Oh, that's what we should have been running this whole time. How did I miss that? That could have been a game changer. Um, I'm also going to do morale of navies and ship durability and what else? Do we just have carte blanche here? Naval force limit modifier? Okay. That probably means we're making, like, no military power for, mo for months, so we'll have to promote this guy a little bit. Not that it's going to matter. Our tech is already good. All right. Um, everybody's done drilling. There's going to be no more drilling because we're going to build up our morale to go to war. These ten ships can come join our main fleet. And the Netherlands have declared war on us. Uh, fuck you. We are declaring war on Britain simultaneously. Claims on our rivals. Uh, we're going to take London. Confirmed. We're going to go down to speed three. And we're going to finish this. We're going to finish this nonsense. What do they want from us? They want to take our capital. Bunch of assholes.
Okay. War with Britain, a little earlier than we are expecting. We're still 40,000 manpower in the hole. Um, but I think we can make this work. And Brienne is here. Hello! It's got home from school. We are, uh, we're about to finish this campaign, so it's exciting, exciting times. Ooh. We have like seven years left. So we'll probably finish this entire series today. Wow. Seven yep. years is actually not that long in this game. It's it's not. We're going to have to go slow because we're at war with a bunch of people. But, uh, yeah. So, we need, now need to pick a landing site on Britain. Um, I honestly think we should just go straight for London. Oh, and before I have people screaming at me that I'm an idiot, let's go get our trade ships. To join up with the main fleet because we will need literally every boat possible. And we just ran into the Dutch trade fleet because I wasn't paying attention. Truce with everybody has expired. It looks like we might actually win though, despite being outnumbered. We have much better, uh, much better navy than them. Yeah, they're just pouring more and more trade ships into this battle. Where uh, it looks like we're just going to completely thrash them. So nice. And and this is a long battle, very long battle. Very, very long battle. Long enough that a new Holy Roman Emperor was elected in the time that it took this battle to be over. Okay, they just sent in like a bunch more ships. Yeah, we might lose. Let's see. We, if, if so, we sunk way more of their ships than they did of ours. <laughs> that was kind of hilarious, actually. This is the longest naval battle in history. How many months? Somebody in the comments post how many months this battle actually took. <laughs> they tried to surprise us with their entire fleet. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna win. We're actually gonna win. They have us outnumbered 2 to 1 right now. They had us outnumbered, like, 3 to 1 at one point. And, uh, yeah... Holy shit, we didn't even have an admiral assigned to this trade fleet. Holy shit, that might be the bloodiest naval battle I've ever seen in EU4. We lost nine frigates, they lost six ships of the line, 178 frigates, and three transports. I don't know if that should even be possible. That, that put our war score up enough that I'm almost like, will they, will they accept peace now? Because we sure did give them a thrashing. Holy shit. That was freaking legendary. <laughs> that, is, that is one of the craziest things I've ever seen in EU4. 178 trade ships sunk. Uh, so anyone anyone who tells you that uh, naval ideas are worthless, you can make a clip out of that. I give you permission to make a clip out of that and show it to them. All right, let's go take London. No idea how much high seas attrition we've been taking. Um, there's a British fleet. Infiltration of New Castile. They are running from us. The British Navy is running from us. That should tell you something about the strength of our Navy. Here we go. Proving that we're masters of the seas. Even if we lose the war at this point, the fact that we have proven that we are masters of the seas over the British, that will be enough to make me very happy with the outcome of this campaign. And they landed in Alaska. Have fun with that, you know what? Have fun with that. Did the Iroquois join our war? Yeah, okay. The Iroquois joined the war against the Dutch, but not the war against the English. 
There we go. Sunk 54 ships of the line. We lost two. Everyone's saying England's navy is unbeatable. Oh, even if it's five to one, you're still gonna lose. No. Nope. To that I say nope. Great big nope. Big ol' nope. Nope a on that one. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Norfolk has Essex, Cambridge, and Lincolnshire, and minus one dice roll for attacker. Okay, so this is a decent place to stage our armies. We will we will hang out here while we go collect our reinforcements from Greenland. Unless they give us an opportunity to march somewhere else. Cambridge is also marchy, marshy. Also has... Let's see. Supply limit 53. Supply limit 47. Let's go ahead and plunk down a supply depot here. So they're trying to make an end run around us, but we're just going to occupy London, and then they're not going to have anything to do about it. End of the Wun Empire. So apparently the Wun were the emperors of China at some point. Oh, shit. Britain has conquered, like, most of China. Bengal's still super overpowered. Come on, Paradox. Bengal... Bengal is ridiculous in this game. Holy shit, they have 253,000 uh, troops. Okay, well. Well, you know what? You know what's really important here? What's really important is that we started a series way, way back uh, called Scotland Rules the Waves. We are the descendants of the Scottish, and we have embarrassed every naval power uh, in history. Uh, we have embarrassed them thoroughly. And, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're going to hang our hats on. Because it looks like conquering Britain is not going to be even, even remotely, even remotely possible. Uh, they, they have... Just their home defense army is significantly larger than our entire force limit. So, maybe should have checked on that, but you know what? We are the masters of the seas. And that's that's what's really important, is that we're the masters of the seas. Um, Anti-clericalism, do the one that gives us lots of money. And then we'll grant monopoly charters to these guys. Anyway, we'll play out these last five years. We'll skirmish with the uh, British colonial forces here. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're not going to be conquering Britain. Not without European allies. Out of curiosity, like, could we have... We couldn't have gotten France on our side. We could... Not have gotten... Castile or Portugal on our side. If the Netherlands had stayed our friends, maybe we would have pulled it off. Austria. Yeah, we already looked at that possibility so yeah we put all our all of our eggs in the naval basket and uh, that's where it got us let's see here I'll try to land on these guys everybody always attacks us through Alaska it's hilarious It's like, you know, whatever whatever you want to do, I guess. Uh, Mungo, Cameron, chase these guys down. We're not going to let them cross the Strait of Belle Isle. Because our boats are the best. Like, what, what more could you want? We defeated, we defeated the English... Navy, like that'll be uh, that'll be a this will be a memorable campaign. 
cheese, there are so many people on, on the U4 subreddit who are convinced that the English Navy is super overpowered. They're basically unbeatable, even if you have... Even if you're a million to one, even if you outnumber them a trillion to one. That's, that's, that's what people on the E4 Reddit sound like. I outnumbered them a zillion to one, and they still, they still beat me. Just send them that clip. Okay, our last parliamentary policy of the entire game... I think we're going to go with uh, Sailor Recovery Speed. We don't care about any of this anymore. So we're just going to ignore corruption. We're going to bribe everybody. Uh, promote some civil services. Uh, diplomatic support. Ignore corruption. Ignore corruption. Military support. Uh, bribe some MPs. Grant some autonomy. Republican tradition doesn't matter anymore. Nothing matters. Anyone can see. Nothing really matters except for the fact that we defeated the British Navy. <laughs> Did you, you like that one? You like that one? I don't know what the reference is, but it's just fun. The, I was doing Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh. I hope you guys don't hear Casey licking on the fucking microphone. Oh, yeah. Casey's constantly it's licking been something. Twenty minutes of nonstop I don't know why she decides to always do it. When she thinks she thinks she's a cat or something. We don't. We aren't really sure. The minute we get out the microphone, is when she starts breathing. Yeah. Every time. And we're gonna lose a stack because we weren't paying attention. And yeah, we're the best navy in the world. We have far from the best army in the world. Um, we're just going to put this on speed 5. Because <laughs> at this point, it's basically over. Um, we'll chase down some fleets. See how many ships we can kill by the end of the game. The Dutch are here. The Iroquois are doing nothing to stop them. You know, they were our loyal allies for the, the whole game, though. I shouldn't give them too much shit. Ships should be healing, because they're in friendly waters. The Dutch want, like, a white piece or something, maybe? No, not yet. Totally could have kicked their asses. We could have gone and conquered the Netherlands instead of declaring war on Britain. That definitely would have been a possibility. Alright, I want you guys to go hunt fleets in the Caribbean... 106% religious unity. So we did well on that. That metric. Uh, let's see. Let's go see if we can help the Iroquois kill the Dutch. At this point, I just want to see what the end screen says about how great our empire was. Oh, sweet. They won their first battle without us. Now please run away quickly because that is a 43k stack and they will kill you. Four field rotation, we finished the tech tree. We didn't ever get early industrialization, but uh, you know, win some, you lose some. Okay, Iroquois buddies, where in heck am you going? Where in heck? Stay here. Thank you. see, Powhatan, Chesapeake. It'd be better if we could get to Chesapeake. I don't know if we can beat them to Chesapeake, because it's a swamp. And I would rather make them attack us into a swamp, but yeah, that wasn't probably going to happen. Where are they heading now? Nanticoke or something? Yeah, yeah, I know. Eighteen seventeen, four years remain. All right, they're gonna get there on the tenth of December. We're gonna get there on the fifteenth. What if we force march? 
That saves one day. Oh man, Care McTaggart died. Right in the middle of the final war. Um, well, we'll elect another military candidate. Alexander Graham. The final president of this era of the Republic. By the way, people have asked in the comments and elsewhere, I definitely would like to convert this to Victoria 2, but from what I hear, the Victoria 2 converter, or the EU4 to Victoria 2 converter currently does not work well with this patch, so I'll at least test it. I don't know if, if uh, I will be successful, but I'll, I will at least try. Uh, so I think we just defeated the entire Dutch army, more or less. They still don't want a white piece, though. Speed 5. Because nothing matters. Nothing matters at all. Britain isn't occupying the entire Northwest. It's not going to matter. The game's going to end before they can force us into a peace treaty. Technicalities. Might as well split the stack. Just trying to get the Dutch to peace out at this point. Oldenburg? Oldenburg actually showed up to the war? Command Delicious, you need to keep your people in line. Okay. So that's my that's my goal for these last four years is just to see if we can possibly piece out the uh, piece out the Dutch. This is going to be a little bit longer than usual episode because I'm just going to keep going until we're done, and then uh, we'll have a new Monday, Wednesday, Friday series for you guys. So that's exciting. I've already hinted at what it's going to be in a couple of places. Alright, yep, 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 I'm aware. I'm aware that they occupied all the provinces. Yep, mm-hmm, yep, yep, sounds good. Sounds about right. We have first, number one rank in Diplo. It looks like we're going to end as the world's fifth great power, so. If we export to Vicky 2, we should start as a great power, which would be cool, because we could start doing sphere of influence stuff immediately. Of course, if we do uh, import to Vicky 2 successfully, all of a sudden our foreign policy towards Britain and EU4 makes no sense, because it was entirely... Uh, dependent on the world ending in 1821. <laughs> so, that'll be, uh, that'll be a little bit awkward to explain to our grandchildren. Like, no, we, we really thought the world was going to end in 1821. We had very good reason to believe that. Uh, I don't want him. There we go. We got a little bit better general right at the end here. Get on speed three so we can deal with this Dutch East Indies army. Or West Indies Army. Dutch Brazil. Dutch Brazil. There's a Dutch Brazil. Oh, there is a Dutch Brazil. I forgot there was a Dutch Brazil. Because, you know, in real life, interesting historical fact, in real life there is no Dutch Brazil. Little known fact. Alright. Are we attacking into a swamp? Yes, we are. Does it matter at this point? Probably not. Are the reinforcements going to get there in time? No, they will not. Okay, these guys are going to Utsaga. River crossing penalty. I think we can eat the river crossing penalty. Is this a swamp? Yes, it is. Are we going to win anyway? It looks like it. 
Disagreeing advisor is a good point. I think he made a good point that our late imperial foreign policy hasn't done us a lot of favors. That was that was a good point. Are we gonna get there first? Get the terrain bonus? Yes, we did. Yes, we did get there first and get the terrain bonus. Three years to go. Counting down. Just want the Dutch to go home. Be nice if you could use a spy network to like encourage an enemy to take a peace deal. That would actually be very useful, I think. Oh, look, Britain has uh, taken over all of what in in our world is called New England, so that's kind of appropriate. War exhaustion is high. Well, guess what? We can just click that button as many times as we want and make it go away. Netherlands have occupied Wichita. Fun fact that the reason they did that is because they're dicks. Fun historical fact. All right, uh, Charles Cunningham can lead this army. Win one more battle against the Dutch that will hopefully make them reconsider whether this war was a good idea. Britain's just completely demolishing everything we've ever stood for. White piece? Not quite. We're getting close. Who, where, what is occupied by Oldenburg? Where are the armies of Oldenburg? Netherlands, Netherlands. I keep forgetting to click and see. I haven't even seen troops from Oldenburg. Are they in the Caribbean? Are they invading Iceland? What's going on with Oldenburg? Okay, there's Oldenburg. Okay, so they're just supporting the British forces and then immediately transferring the occupation to Britain. I see what they're doing. Took out another loan. We're now in the red because half of our country is occupied by hostile forces. We need to get the F out of here, because that's the British Army. Get there. Shit! Alright, well that's going to be the end of the campaign. Uh, can we white piece the Netherlands really quick before this battle goes sideways? We were so close. We were within one war score of getting the Netherlands to fuck off and go home. Oh, the Iroquois could still pull it off. The Iroquois, nope, not gonna happen. All right, speed five. Uh, we're just gonna watch the world burn right up until uh, right up until uh, end of the timer here. Uh, the Iroquois have pieced out of the imperialist war. The Dutch did not take any territory from them. Interestingly enough. Swing plow, marvelous, sounds great. You got all this industrial shit happening in our country that is largely occupied by foreign invaders. Just gonna hold down the C key to dismiss all of these uh, warnings. We have no army. Oh, we do have an army. There they are. can just hang out there till the end of the game. 1821 can't come soon enough. Let's see, an advisor died, probably of shame. We pick up a new discipline advisor. We're going to keep reducing our war exhaustion because there's nothing else to spend our power points on. 
Took out another loan, because we're not currently collecting taxes because all of our land is occupied by foreign invaders. Lack of officers. Uh, we're going to lose manpower that we don't have. One year to go. We only got to endure 12 more months of this shit without having our entire country collapse. February. March. Coffee houses. Not what I would be thinking of at the moment, but yeah, let's open some coffee houses. <laughs> let's open some coffee houses in, uh, you know, Pueblo. Whatever areas are not already occupied. Missionary strength, sure. Malcolm Duncan, welcome. There's no provinces you can convert because all of our heretic provinces are occupied. We've reached our maximum amount of loans, and it looks like we'll go bankrupt uh, before the end of the game. So we gotta debase some currency and pay back some loans. And I'm just going to turn root, off, root Out Corruption off. May. Peace Offer from Great Britain. Uh, they want us to give Reykjavik back their cores. Or they want to give, give Norway back their cores. They want us to release Shoshone, California, Newfoundland, British Louisiana, Pacific, and Norte as... Sovereign states and uh, seed. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. It'll make a more interesting map for Victoria, too. Oh, God. Look at that fucking border core. <laughs> now it's like I no longer want to convert this to Vicky, too. That's super fucking annoying. Oh. Uh... Well, we'll see. We'll see how this ends up. September. Yep, okay. The Dutch. The fucking Dutch. Yep, they're dutching it up. Dutching all over the place. Getting their Dutchness on the carpets. November. December and uh, dictatorship. Keep Alexander Graham in power forever. And we're done. So there we go. Uh, Canada. 42nd largest army. 3rd largest navy. I'm surprised we're not the largest. 4th most provinces. 5th highest province value. 18th highest income. 30th highest trade income. Um, does it say what... Great power rank we finished as? Doesn't look like it does. We beat historical France, which is awesome. Um, yeah. So that is uh, Scotland Rules the Waves, and we proved that we did indeed rule the waves. We are going to have a new Monday, Wednesday, Friday series coming, for, uh, coming to you uh, very soon, and then we'll probably get back to EU4 again after Dharma comes out. I don't think we have time nor interest to squeeze in another EU4 series between now and the next expansion. Oh, look at that. That's cute. That's cute. The Brit British asked if they could move through our territory right at the end there. That's that's really cute. Um, anyway, check out loresworn.com. That's our website. We are at Lorsworn Order on Twitter. I am at AsaTJ. That is A-S-A-T-J. And we'll see you with a new series next time.